They are. Italians are just so loyal to each other, really. They're not really, if you're a mungie cake, they don't care about you. You're just there to help them with their life. I did, I was nine years old, we moved into an Italian neighborhood. I knew right away I had Italian neighbors because I would play road hockey. And I could never play the next day because this guy would always take my sticks and cut them off for his tomato plants in the backyard. <laughs> Every day. Like Mr. Ricci, uh, that was a brand new stick. Have a some of sauce, I don't want, I don't want sauce. I got 30 bags of your sauce, okay? I'm tired of playing ringette with my sister in the driveway. They never know your name. You ever live next to Italians? If you're not Italian, they don't care. They're not looking for new friends. They don't care what your name is. They never say, what is, what is your name? They don't ever say that. They don't care. Whatever name comes out of their mouth, that's your name if you live next to Italian. Jimmy, I was Jackie, Tony. Sometimes I was Jenny. I don't know where Jenny came from. <laughs> and I would do little jobs for him, cut his grass, he'd water his driveway. They love to do that, eh? He would stand outside all day. Hey, Jackie! Just water in his driveway. Don't step out of the driveway today. I'm watering the driveway today. You get a nice, a clean a driveway. Never parked his car ever in the driveway. No, no park today. I got a dirt on the driveway today. And the raccoons would step on it. He was so mad at the raccoons. This a goddamn a raccoon. I, f I don't know where it come from, Jackie. And he'd look for it like it was at its, his feet. I don't know where this raccoon. I find the one day, I find the one day, Johnny, this raccoon, because he step on my driveway. I kill this raccoon so fast. I'd hear him at three in the morning trying to trick the raccoon. He really wanted to kill. He'd never seen one. Someone told him they're out at night, so he'd be out at three in the morning with a slipper. His wife's <laughs> slipper was gonna kill it. What the like this? Behind his back. And you know Italians have something behind their back. Because they tell you they have nothing behind their back. <laughs> Where are you, nice raccoon? I don't have a nothing behind my back. And I used to do jobs for this guy every day, cut his grass, shovel his driveway, and he would drink coffee all day. Called it cough for short. I was terrified when I figured that out. That truck came by at noon with the cough. Hey, Jenny! Yes? Do you want to go fuck off? <laughs> what? You want to go fuck off? You want me to go fuck off? I'm not allowed to do that yet, no. <laughs> Every day. You ever work for an Italian? That's confusing. They fire you. Every day. But they forget. You know how confusing that is when you're nine? Hey, Jimmy. Yesterday, Jimmy, you not cut the grass in a straight line. I know I say yesterday goodbye, Jackie. Don't come back this time, for sure. But this time, Tony, I have no time for this grass, for sure. Yesterday I say for sure, you come back, I don't look. I say, okay, Jackie wanna come back. I'm not gonna see it this time. I give him one more chance. But I look through this, Jimmy. I see still, this is for sure no good this time. Don't cut this grass again because you don't work here for me no more, okay? Goodbye and don't come back for sure. Okay, Jenny, I see you tomorrow, nine o'clock, we go fuck off, okay? <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you so much for uh, being a part of this. Really appreciate it. You guys have a great night. Thanks again. <laughs>